All right, it's May 15th, and this is the meeting of the uh, Conway Board of Selectmen. We're being videotaped by uh, FCAT, Frontier Community Access Television, uh, so that people can view these exciting meetings later on if they prefer. All right, first item on the agenda is uh, minutes. We have the minutes of May 4th. Is everybody yep. looking yeah. at minutes of May 4th? Any changes to those? No? Okay. I'll make Good. a motion that we approve the minutes of May 4th. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. We have the minutes for May 8th. Everybody reviewed the minutes? Yeah. Yep. We're good. Any changes or additions? No. Hearing none, I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for May 8th. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Next item on our agenda, uh, we have warrants. We have a vendor warrant for $165,090. We have a payroll warrant of $99,431 and a payroll deduction warrant of $26,008. I'll uh, make a motion to approve those warrants. I have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Meetings attended by select board members. We have any meetings attended by anyone? Uh, I can talk about two meetings. One was we had another meeting of the MCAP organization, the Municipal Coalition Against Pipelines. And it's every day it looks more and more like the New England pipeline is going to come back. And so um, people are, you know, the people whose towns it went through were nervous about that and there's a lot of work being done right now in Deerfield and and uh, and some other towns looking at how to get through those towns um, and then you and I went went to uh, an FCAT moving That's you know, right. event anyway not a Saturday not a formal meeting maybe but uh, FCAT's in the process of moving out of old Deerfield and down to Sunderland Town Hall and and we moved a lot of furniture there you go yeah, yeah, that went that went well. It did. Yeah, well. I met uh, this past week with the uh, uh, members of the 250th committee and our land caretaker uh, Gary Topman on the Rose Field moving back here so that we could secure the location and get the paperwork and the permits all filed for the fireworks show. Mm. And I also the state fire marshal was there also. So that's all in the works and waiting for them to come back from Boston. Great. Okay. All right. Let's see. I attended uh, Massachusetts Municipal Association board meeting last Tuesday in Boston. And we talked about the, the uh, problems with the state budget. They're again uh, having problems. Revenues are, are down. Um, they're just not coming in according to expectations. Um, things mentioned about the uh, marijuana law and the changes to that are awaiting that situation. Um, and a couple of other items on, on the state level. So what's the governor going to do about the, about the budget? But the well, level, they're 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 hoping that um, they're hoping that um, May and June <laughs> come in better. Uh, if not, there may be some more cuts coming uh, very shortly. So hopefully, May and June people spend a lot of money and the state gets more revenue. Will be all set. If That's not, uh, we could see some cuts. So. All right, um, I attended a FERCOG executive committee meeting on Thursday. Um, nothing of real import at that meeting that would involve us. Okay, that's about And of course, Saturday with FCAT. The fun we had. It was fun. Moving. It was good. We, we got a lot of work done in a short period of time, and that was good. All right, any citizens' concerns? No citizens here, so that's good, okay. Old business. 
proposal to plant trees on Pumpkin Hollow Common. Do we yeah, have anything on that, Tom? Um, we don't. I had put that on just in case, uh, in case there was, was more follow-up. Uh, follow-up. Um, I, I do understand uh, mm -hmm. that uh, Marjorie Held was very disappointed and somewhat upset that uh, these plans that had come through the 250th committee, because um, she's involved with that for for Pumpkin Hollow, but uh, of course Ruiz also working with the Garden Club, um, had her own ideas about what would go on in the common. And Marjorie had um, previously suggested the, the chestnut trees, and uh, the, uh, the other plan took me by surprise, as well as apparently Marjorie, um, but I haven't heard from Marjorie about that. I did hear um, via Heidi that, that she was upset, but um, I know that uh, the select board also agreed that the, that, that common would be less than suitable for a tree that chestnut. shed um, chestnut burrs. Right. Uh, so uh, I didn't see the uh, the need to revisit that at this point. Okay. We did, thing we is did. how you had already discussed that issue. Yeah, we had we had reconciled that though where we're gonna plant chestnut trees in, in another location down there. Right. It did look like Ron has dug up all Ron the stumps. Done a yes. good job. So that, yep. that looked great. I think yeah. he just needs to put some more loam in there to level up so far, but the stumps are all gone. Yep. I see the common's been taken care of. Yep. 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 So it's good. Yeah. Looking good. Looking good. Hi. Hi. Can we help you? Hey yes. Beth, come on in. Sure. Yeah, hey. hey. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's okay. Hi. You wouldn't story a little bit. Hi. Hi. Stories that I heard that I think they got trees coming, some trees coming this week, I think. The elms? The elms. Right. Right. Uh, I don't Great. know how many exactly, but that is a few of them coming this week, I understand. Okay. Good. Excellent. And Ron Good. said he'd have the holes dug for them to put in, so. Okay. Good. All right. Next item is organization of the select board. We have to elect a chair and a clerk. Should we do Beth first? You want to do Beth first? Yeah. Okay, we can do Beth sure. first. Beth, sure. we're going to appoint you to the... Um, uh, Mohawk Trail Woodlands Partnership Advisory Committee. Yay. Yay. All right. <laughs> we sure. say that too. Yeah, I went to an informational meeting last week. It was it was interesting. It was informative. It was yes. well attended. Yeah. And you met with It was uh, controversial. Peggy Sloan at the at the And I met with well. Peggy Sloan, yeah, so she could tell me about the history of the project and where it's at and things like that. And they have some opposition at the meeting? Yeah. I think they Because I've heard some on the streets about not liking the program they're doing because it afraid it may tie up some of the uh, areas too tight uh, and some of the state foresters are not happy about it. Really? That's oh. what I was told so I don't know. Well, It'd be interesting to see down the road what's going to take place. But. Well right now it's still in its uh, formative <coughs> stage. It's still after yeah, it's all these years. So yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I think that um, you know, some of the opposition to what's being done is, is a little bit overplayed. Oh yeah, it wasn't uh, it wasn't what I had expected. Somehow I'd been led to believe there were going to be a lot of people leafleting out from, but there wasn't. There was just a. It's a public. They're all public meetings, so yeah, people sure. can come and raise yeah. raise yeah. issues. And yeah. um, the Forest Service representative was there from Maine, so that was interesting. So. I don't know. There's a lot of moving parts to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Um, yeah. When I rode over, I carpooled with a guy from Ashfield who was, um, uh, Rick, oh no, I just forgot his name. But anyway, he was interesting because he's been, he used to work for the state. And so he said this is an idea that's been kicking around for a while. It's mm -hmm. not a new, it's right. not a brand new thing. People right. have been talking about something like this for a while. So. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah. This is just a new iteration of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. See if it rolls. So okay. I'm happy to, to be the representative for Conway. And Fantastic. I promise well, I'll do whatever you want me to do. Well, if there's I'll anything back, that uh, to you. yeah, the, if if just keep up to us, keep up with the okay. uh, okay. news yeah. or decisions or that sort of thing. Okay. Or if you'd like I will. to. Yeah, and thank All you right. for volunteering to do that. Sure, it's something I'm really interested in. So. Great. 
That's good. Okay, that's All it. Right. I'm appointed. Well, I'm, I'm, well, I'm going to make a oh, motion okay. now. Oh, I'm going to make the motion now. Okay. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll move that, Ber uh, that Beth Gershwin be appointed to serve as member of the uh, Mohawk Trail Woodlands Partnership Advisory Committee for a term ending June 30th, 2017. Yes, and then we will and reappoint. Then we will oh, reappoint okay. for the okay. next year. And right. who was the person who was this doing this before? Uh, Jim Moore was a select board oh, member. Oh, Jim Moore. Would, uh, okay. Well, maybe I'll talk to him mm. about his impressions of the whole process. That's good. Mm. Do I He's have an easy guy to talk to. Yeah. Do I have is. a second? A second. Oh, all in favor. <laughs> Aye. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. No, not at all. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll give this form to Jenny. Okay. And you come in and you get sworn in. Okay, I have to get sworn in for the planning board too. Maybe I could do both. She will do them both at the same time. time. She could probably do it concurrently. Yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. Tomorrow mm -hmm. Great. morning. So maybe. Yeah. yeah. Also, there's cows out on 116 that people are trying to. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure where they're trying to move them to, but as I was coming mm -hmm. up, there was about five people trying to corral some fairly young-looking Holsteins. Really? Moving down is this under the purview of the Woodlands Partnership? You no, know, this is just as I was you driving there, up the road. <coughs> you know, first there was that tree <coughs> down on the road. Now, yeah. then there was uh, cows out on the road. This so. up must be a cup closer to town. Yeah, closer to town. Up, up by where, where the cows, um, that yeah. big field is, yeah. where that past the Conway Landscape Architecture mm -hmm. Driveway, yeah. that big field. They're sort of, I'm not sure what they're doing, but yeah, they, they, they've yeah. been in a lane for a while, so. <laughs> well, they like to get not, on the road every once in a while. It's not a great situation. I don't people. think the people who were trying to move them were looking pretty upset, so. Thanks for sure, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you Thank you very much. Bye, bye. <laughs> thank you. We'll take a walk now. Bye. You can go herd the cows. <laughs> No, I'm not. I guess I'll <laughs> take, take care. Have a good night. She's nice, yeah. Okay, organization of the select board. All right, we've got uh, elected chair, clerk, uh, regional representatives, and a meeting schedule. Okay. Well, can I nominate John for chair? Okay. Well, I would like to. John's done a wonderful job, but I think. I think it would be behooving of the Board of Selectmen to have a different chairman every year. Which means, in the past, I'm, I'm going back in years now. Now it used to be your, your third year term, you were on the like, chairman, unless you didn't want. No. Then you could, then you could uh, relate to some other people. But I just think that that's just the way, that's the way you're doing it. I, not that John hasn't done a bad job, because he's done a wonderful job. But I just think that that's the way I would like to see the board go. Maybe I'm wrong my thinking, but... Uh, my preference is still to have John be chair. Uh, hmm. Motion on the floor. And I can't second it. Well, you can. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll second it. Other, otherwise, it, we might be deadlocked. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, I'm sorry, Bob. I just think John well, does a was yours a motion. Or was your motion does a great job. Well, I, I don't know. Uh, 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 you had the motion. I I, I I I didn't I didn't I didn't know that you, you know, we we ought to have a discussion first. Well, but. I was just thinking about the last couple of days. And yeah. Said, uh -huh. well, maybe it's maybe there's time instead of having once you know, John from chairman. How many years now? Six. Couple. Six. Couple. Five. I still think he does a great job. I didn't say we didn't do it. I know, I understand. Top of Hill, 116? Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> right him now, boy. <laughs> Get your guns up, so. Well, we have a motion and a second. What do you want to do? I all assume that we vote on it, but... All in favor? Uh, I'll say aye. I made the motion. So it's really up to you, John. Do you want to be chair again? <laughs> I'll say aye. Okay. I'll nominate Bob as clerk. You might ask for the nays. Are there any nays? Nay. Nay, okay. Two to one. I'll nominate uh, Bob as clerk. Do I have a second? 
I second it. Do, if, what, do, do you, you accept it? it? Do if you, you want it? accept the Why don't nomination? You take it this year? I will, but if you there don't. You go. Okay. I'll name it, I'll name it Robert. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bob, excuse me. <laughs> <That's>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make that a motion. That Bob becomes clear. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. You don't um, have to tell me what it means. No, you're in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, now you're, now you're, you know. I, I, I would suggest recent regional reps would keep them the same. Yeah, just to let everybody know, these are the positions. Yeah, that's a good idea. Unless anybody wants to switch their positions. Uh, right now. Bob Armstrong is the Frontier Community Access Television representative from the Broadband Committee. That's me, that's right. And John O'Rourke is the Frontier Community Access Television representative from the Select Board. Uh, John is also the representative to the Franklin Regional Council of Governments. And I believe the representative to the Up near Upper Pioneer Valley Veterans Services District. Yes. Uh, we do not have a representative to the Greater Franklin Regional Comprehensive Economic Development Strategy Advisory Committee. Um, I will note that I am the, I have been uh, appointed by this board as the representative of the Franklin Regional Planning Board, and they have appointed me as the planning board representative to the economic development strategy yeah, yeah. That's committee. Good. That's good. But, That's good. Um, but they do also have a select board representative and I will and encourage... How often do they meet? Uh, about four or five times a year. I do um, a lot of things at Vercog. I like Vercog. I mean, I... Vercog's good order. If you're interested yeah. in, econo in regional economic development, it's good to get a perspective of what's going on around the county. Uh -huh. If mm -hmm. anyone's interested in that, you know. Well, if you don't want to Bob, do it, Bob, I'd be willing to do it. Go ahead. I'm, I've got the regional transit authority. Right. Okay. So, and if I got to meet Thursday night, then I got to meet. And Robert Baker, representative of the regional transit authority. So can we add a couple things to the list? So, so MCAP was what Jim was the rep for, and now I'm the rep right. for. So okay. Is that um, a different kind of it, thing? Well, it's not a public body. Uh huh. Um, okay. FCAT is kind of a semi, is yep. a quasi yeah. public entity. Um, but um, you, did you have any other uh, MCAT, uh, any other uh, regional groups or things? That well, well um, uh, like I'm the select words rep on the housing committee. But again, I don't, I don't know if that's the kind of thing that would be under this. Okay, the, these are, this, this is specifically supposed to be for regional. Okay, okay. I think we can do the, yeah. uh, we can do, if, if the select board wants reps on committees, well, we can have that too. These are just all the things I have to stand in front of Ginny yeah. and raise my right hand. Right, right. She swears at me. Right. Hmm. Um, so, okay. why don't you present your, your proposal for a select board, uh, being a select board rep to MCAP. For being on here? So yeah, I, to them. So <laughs> I'll make the any anybody else want to serve? No, no, no you sure? You, you've got it. You got it. Is that a second from Robert Baker? I, I think sure. I heard that. Thank you. They would view themselves as an official body. I it's not really called that. MCAP, is it? It's a Municipal yeah. Coalition hey, no. Against Hi. the Pipeline. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, God, the acronyms. Yep. Yep. Okay, we finish with that. And uh, that one is looks done. Okay. Okay. How about meeting schedule? I'm gonna go on a, a two week meeting schedule from here on in. It's fine with me. Don't we didn't we just show, usually do it in July and August or when did we do it last year? I don't remember. No, we it's just we, from we do a weekly weekly after meetings. town meeting um, until budget time. Budget time, yeah. By weekly? Sounds good to me. Yeah. All right, so I'll make a motion. I'll second. There we go. Starting effective two weeks from tonight. When do we want to start that? Do we so, want to look so, at the schedule? To see so tonight was a was a warrant 
meeting, so it would be two weeks. It's got to be on two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Two weeks. Okay. Um, yeah. And I'll note that, of, of course, next time is Memorial Day, so it'll be on Tuesday, Tuesday the 30th Tuesday. Yeah. instead of the 29th. Okay, next item on the agenda is the uh, 4040 Air Road property. Greg should be here, right? You say it's, well, it's not 6.30. We told him 6.30, didn't we? Oh. Can we postpone that yeah. one? Yeah, we'll, 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 uh, right. we'll skip that one for now. Uh, remo renew membership in the Franklin County Sheriff's Office Regional Dog Kennel. All right, that's something we've been doing the last couple of years yes and the animal control officer does recommend that we renew our membership okay. and that it's I think $350 we have money the in the budget for the course yes, yeah. yes I'll sir. make a motion we approve it all right second all in favor aye, aye. okay it's good off uh, good thing that is. Mm -hmm. vulnerability okay <coughs> uh, next item is uh, letter to support for municipal vulnerability preparedness grant application and this is a planning grant uh, that uh, if we do this, then we would be eligible for implementation grants, theoretically, afterwards, if they come. Uh, more work, uh, this with Ashfield along the South River, and I've done up a letter the same way right. we did for the... Yeah, uh, we, talk, we talked about this them. last week. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, and we basically made a motion last week just to put a letter of support together, right? I don't know. I'm probably best to uh, make right. a motion. I'll make a motion that, that, that we. Yeah. Well, because they don't spell out what the project is, right? Yet, yeah. what the projects are going to be. Yeah. No, we'll be uh, working on a vaguely worded proposal tomorrow morning at the COG. It has to be mailed in Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, this is a very tight turnaround, but the COG. This is. You know, the uh, the COG has been doing the river corridor management <coughs> plans yeah. along the South River. Mm -hmm. So this would extend some of the work that they've started there. We might try to identify priority sites to work on. That would be a next step that I can But they will come up see. to the town vote before they get approved, I'm sure. Okay. Well, we'll come up for it, it, to, to this board. Mm -hmm. The only reason, yeah. the reason I said that is because when we had the last voted for this project on the outside of the bridge, they oh, yeah. talked about future project on the upper side of the bridge, and there's a lot of people in town they're fighting mad about one and doing anything above the bridge. So just be aware. You mean they, they would support work on no. the up? They were not supporting not work on the upper immediately part of the bridge. above the bridge. Upstream for them, maybe they go on and stuff like that. Sounds but they talked about diverting the river back in the old existing location, which would put it way over by Academy Hill Road. That was one of the projects discussed after this. Yeah, one. right. I recall that. No, uh, it's people do not like that idea at all. Yeah, I don't think we would, we would reroute the river. Uh, so the last I knew, the the. Uh, the but that uh, would come up for our discussion. Yeah. Later. The, mm -hmm. the last I knew, the main objection to that was that the land Man. was too expensive. Yeah. But. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah and, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and it and, and it's the landowner didn't want to release it. It's yeah. gonna it's gonna gonna stay that expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll make a motion that we sign these letters. I have a second. Take a in favor. Aye. Uh, was yeah, was there more there than is, one letter? I saw there, one letter. There is, an, uh, yeah, there's just one, there's, the there's, one letter. There's, there's two. Oh, there's two copies. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that way each of the towns can have an original.
You want to talk about the cutting plant or the Fournier property? Yes, we don't have uh, a cutting plan ready for the select board to approve. I'll be meeting with the uh, DCR forester uh, and our tree warden uh, on Wednesday on site. We're going to have to expand the original plan for cutting, which we were basing off of the old Fournier lot cutting plan, which did exist. Mm -hmm. We were hoping we could simply amend that. But there's substantial blowdown on uh, across the stone wall, and some of that is town property, and we need to establish the property boundary with uh, an abutter. So mm -hmm. it may be that some of that is on the abutter's land. In any case, we're going to have to redo the map before we submit it to you as part of a cutting plan to move forward. So right. we won't be able to do that soon. Okay. Well, we weren't able to do it for tonight, I'll put it that way. Okay. Hope to bring that back to you on the 30th. Okay. Next item on the agenda is to uh, approve the Memorandum of Understanding with Massachusetts Office of Disabilities for Community Development Block Grant. <coughs> it is one of the requirements of getting Community Development Block Grant money that that we uh, we have some sort of plan for for compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act. It does have it does only have to be a plan, and I'm working on a grant proposal to help with um, two of the main elements we have to have to apply for the plan. Uh, this also is on a tight timeline. I'm going to have to apply by June 5th. We're going to have to have the work completed by June 30th. It's, it's fairly straightforward, so that shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this is a memorandum of understanding because we don't have those elements already uh, in place. Right. So it's related. Um, the MOU says we will work with the Mass Office of Disabilities to go forward with this. It really complements the grant work. So uh, if we want more money for housing rehabilitation, um, we'll need to sign this MOU with the State Office of Disabilities. Okay. All right. I'll make a motion that we, uh, we sign the Memorandum of Understanding with the Massachusetts Office of Disabilities for a um, Community Development Block Grant. Okay. Do I have a second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, next item. Greg, hey. how we doing? Good, how are you? Thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Hello? So you're planning on moving? That's what I'm thinking to do. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Mm. You're going to stay in town, I hope. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Okay. I haven't really solidified that end of things. Okay. All right. Um, that house, it's kind of too big for where I'm headed. I don't have any kids or anything. And mm -hmm. It was a good fit at the time, but now it's time to think of something else. Next mm -hmm. chapter. Mm -hmm. And the town, uh, as you may or you know may not know, with the deal I had with the town, they have right of first refusal. So mm -hmm. um, prior to me selling it on an open market, would be I was going to put a little bit of money into it. And before I did that, I guess I, I thought I'd see where the town's interest might lie. Mm -hmm. Just on an official basis or whatever. Well, I think um, you know certainly because we own the, the adjoining properties to it, it would be attractive. Yeah. You know, um, so I, you know, for initial conversations, we we do have that right of first refusal. Yeah. So basically, you know, however this goes forward, sure, uh, we we would be interested in, in seeing what what offers you have. Okay. And, and, uh, how we could fit into that? Yeah. So you'd um, before I dealt with you, you'd like you'd like me to put it on the market and and take get an offer. In other words, before you expressed further interest in that, is that? Well, that that would be one of the ways we could do okay. it. Um, 
you know, we could talk to town council on, on other ways yeah. we might want to proceed. Right. And, and, you know, he could talk to your council okay. on that. The only, the only thing I had in mind would, in regards to that, that, that I'd have opposed to that is, um, I mean, say you were going to, say you bought it with the interest of tearing it down. It'd be a shame for me to put 30000 or 40000 into it sure. and then have you tear it down. Right. Right. So, right. If it's something you thought you were interested in, that we could have a conversation prior to me mm -hmm. selling it on the market, if you were in fact interested. Um, mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think the sentiment of the board is that uh, we would be interested in talking to you. I'd like okay. to see how this would fit into yep. the whole plan of the new high facility. And, um, and, and the, certainly we would have to put it before a, a, a a town meeting right. vote uh, to move to move forward. Um, just to give you a, a little bit of an idea, um, let's see what I've got here. at the time I traded, they they decided my property and the Fournier property were worth some part of three hundred thousand. The assessed value is two hundred and twenty-one thousand. The market, I'm sure, has declined. Um, in the time that that was assessed at 300 and now, I, that's my observation. So anything I'd be looking for would be some middle ground between those two figures, just okay. to further your interest or negate it either way. Between you, did you say 221? 221 is the assessed value mm -hmm. and then 300 was the high value when, when it was, you know, when we traded, that was what it was value that at that time which that we, was a different market if, I if we could come to some sort of agreements and, and the town voted for it would you be interested in talking to us or possibly about some time being able to spend uh, after we took ownership of it staying there for upper upper store a year while you were building something else that, stuff, or that, whatever you might be doing that would be an attractive thing and a possibility into it? yeah absolutely that's something we could negotiate in, just whatever deal that you might feel interested in. I actually, I won't keep up much of your time, but when I was looking into this, I actually um, figured a few things out and I got a little off track. I got kind of attending town business more than my own. <laughs> um, but some interesting facts, I just want to let you know about the property. Um, the sheep barn, I did an actual measurement, it's 3,650 square feet. Mm -hmm. I think that barn is good enough to make into something else, a workshop, say. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's certainly good enough to work on, it's a heck of a building. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know what your, your ideas are on a storage building outside of that, if you were to say, say Say you had an idea of tearing the house down, working on the barn, building something where the house is. The length of my house and barn is 98 feet. And if you did a six bay building that was six 16 foot bays, that's 96 feet. Mm -hmm. And it's my opinion, if you were to move forward to something like this, it, it's my opinion, one of the reasons the last um, highway garage got voted down was people didn't have a visual perspective to put with it and I think if you were to move forward with something like this and tell people we're going to put a building there that's about the size of the building that was there they'd have a visual to put with that and it'd probably go a little better sure yeah, yeah. but that's uh, that's just my opinion on on okay. this and right. um, I don't know how you know I don't know how we would proceed from here like I said, the only thing I would try to um, avoid is putting thirty, forty, fifty thousand into it in preparations of selling it, and then having you say, "Yeah, I think we'd like to try to move forward with this." Yeah. Okay. So, well, what uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll discuss that, and then we'll have our our counsel get in touch with, with your attorney and, and see how you know we can move forward. Okay. All right. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So good. do we know anything about like perk tests there? You know, it was, it was a perk when you, when you... Well, here's there's a leach field here's what's going field. on. There's There was a new leach field put in. There is. Okay, great. Uh, there's power to the barn and separate power to the house. 
there's a well that I believe the report I got was 55 gallons a minute, and there's a driveway there yeah. already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And okay. um, I also, um, when I got looking into, when I got looking into, um, when I got sidetracked on the town business, <laughs> this is this is this isn't the scale or anything. Mm -hmm. I thought this is one way if you were to replace this house with a new building. I thought you could continue this road around the back of it to the salt shed to make a loop. Mm -hmm. I thought sure. that would be an interesting concept. And a building 50 feet deep and 96 feet long, just to give you an idea, this is to scale. Mm -hmm. That's how it would overlay over my just garage. The house is over here. Right. And there's room to go this way towards the salt shed road about 30 feet which I think would be it would fit a building in there better yeah and here's the here's the overlay of a 50 by 96 building which is 4800 square feet of storage and that's the scale of it in overlay with my existing garage and you right, can keep right. those if they're of interest to you okay um, so I think it would complement what you have out back. I see their use of out back with gravel piles and whatnot, mm -hmm. and it, it made me it made me believe that you need more area than what you have out back, you know, more usable area. And I think um, I think for the town to do something down there would make more sense for where the salt shed is, and I think it would yeah. complement the space you already have. I, I, I totally agree. So I tend to blend in a lot agree. easier looking from the well, too. Well, it's just it wouldn't it's, be up above the salt shed. And, and I, I want to make something clear. Ten years ago, when the town talked about this, I wasn't I didn't I wasn't for the idea, and it and I haven't changed my mind because of personal interest. I mm -hmm. can put it on the market. And it'll sell to the right person. It might sure. take a while. Yeah. But I I talked to Kenny, who was on the building committee. Kenny Wilmette. Mm -hmm. And he explained some things to me I didn't really know about when you, a town owns a building, working on it is vastly different than if you're building a new building. And yeah. there'd be some cost savings and some different ways that you could do things sure. than if you were starting a brand new project at full scale. Sure. So, yeah. mm. I, I think some of that, I think it's worthy of consideration and if you'd consider it, I'd be willing to talk more about that with you if you were interested okay terrific do you have a time frame in mind I I um, I was gonna work on my house this summer into fall and I was probably gonna put it on the market next spring so I mean I have Jake Dickinson coming to replace my chimney tops just because yeah, I want to burn wood next winter and yeah. the yeah. tornado got a hold of them mm -hmm. so it, it didn't do any other damage to my house other than some shingles yeah, and I'm gonna. So we'd have a fair amount of time to try to put a plan together. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not looking to move until next next year at this time. I'm. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't buy a piece of property and get started on something sooner than that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I. I'm actively looking for property, and that's not going as well as I'd like. But yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah. Any any conversation that you wanted to have to move something forward or. Tell me that you may think you're not interested. I'd, I'd appreciate. It. Okay. If right. you find a good piece of property, good for 12 elderly housing units, you know, <laughs> I, I know somebody interested. There you go. <laughs> but it's, they're having a tough time. Yeah. Well, I'll keep my eye out for that. For <laughs> sure. Right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bob, you're, oh, oh, you're new to the board. Thank right? you. Yes, I am. I I'm believe, the new guy. I believe we've met. Greg Rose. Yes. Hi. So. Good to see you. I, I, Hi, Craig. All right. Well, thank you for your, your time, and I'll be looking forward to hearing from Great. you at some Great. point. Great. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. Take care. Yep. Jan, you're up. Great. So, um, I understand that Tom has given you some documents um, about what I'm going to talk about a little today. So a little bit of the history is that for about the last year, maybe a little more, the Hampshire County Group Insurance
Trust has been talking to us about the losses that they're incurring from claims. Right. And they're taking from their um, excess, you know, we have a side pot of money that... Their uh, reserves. Yeah. Their reserves, thank yeah. you. And they can't continue to take from the reserves as we have been, so something has to change. So we've been tossing it around, and some of the other member communities, and I think we do as well, believe that it would be a better uh, change to change the copay amounts rather than change to a deductible plan. Um, increasing the insurance premiums is also another option that nobody likes that idea very We already much. did that this year. You did do that? Yep, yeah, we did. And that cost the town money as well. Mm -hmm. So increasing um, the copays uh, doesn't cost the town anything. But all of these changes uh, are slow in process and need to go by every member town and all of the unions involved in it. So they want to take the first initial step to change, and that is that the governing authorities in our town, that would be the select board, adopt the sections of 32B that allow them to make those changes. And so they've outlined the process for us, and I think you have that document, yes, have sure. extras if you need anything. Mm -hmm. And the first step um, is to send a letter of notice that the select board would be voting to make a change, not voting on the change, but voting to make a change. And then the next step is to make the change. Mm -hmm. So uh, Tom and I wanted to, you know, pin down a date and when we thought um, you might want to vote on accepting those sections, and then we would have to send the appropriate letters to, uh, I think there's three of them, the union heads, the Secretary of a &F and the uh, RSCME. Do you have to have public hearings too? I haven't seen anything on public hearings. Those letters have to be sent certified, uh, the initial letters, and then they can authorize us to correspond by other means, such as email after mm -hmm. them. The first letters have to be sent certified now. Okay, what, what kind of a, a timeline are we working on here? So they're looking to have this done sometime this summer. Um, and I, I don't see any reason to delay it. So I think we should just, uh, you know, set a date when you want to vote on it in the next month or so. Oh, uh, one and then question we can send the letters. Yeah. I have is um, there is a vote <coughs> to <coughs> accept the provisions and allow the select board to then vote on a change to the health care plan. Um, is there a specific plan now that will be proposed? Do we know what that plan is now that you will be voting on? There's not a on? specific plan yet. So, so the timeline is somewhat dependent on that plan being Well, it's not. So, well, the final timeline is. Yeah. But the initial vote is what they're looking for, is to authorize the selectmen to make that change. Okay, and so and, whatever and that change yeah, shall okay. finally come to be, right. we don't know yet. So if we vote this down, that doesn't it wouldn't go any further. Mm -hmm. You would, know, I don't know what happens if you vote it down. <laughs> would we vote yeah, this before so. we know what the change is, well, what the new plan would be? We don't know what the new plan. See, that's yeah. this. So right. we're gonna catch twenty two here. Which do we do we wait until you? No, but the, you're not authorizing any plan. Yeah. you're only we're accepting the provisions of the law that allow you to make the make change. Make a change, right? If you're so desired. Yeah, you're you're, yeah. you're taking the authority. There'll be a lot we're, more talk to, about what to the make actual that change when the time will comes. Be. We're voting to take the authority on to mm -hmm. to make the change. That's yes. all we're doing right now. Right. We don't know what that change might be because we don't have a plan in front of us. Right. But we're just voting for the authority to do that. Okay. And whatever the changes are, they they you know there's many sections in 32B that describe you know the limitations. And they can't be any higher than what the group commission offers. So. And is this they just for the schools, to. or is it also the other nope. town employees? This is for other town employees. Everybody. This is for Everybody. all of the member yeah. towns. I don't know how many there are, 30, 40 member towns. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty big change, and um, it might take some time. Mm -hmm. This is this is the first step in getting support to do that. Mm -hmm. so I see on the news the other day that 
this is the Hampshire County group, right? Yes. See, the news your data, there's one town trying to opt out of, out of that group now, out of the Hampshire County Council of Governments. Well, okay, that's that's a, that's that's not the insurance trust. That's the council no, of governments. I yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Dif different situation. Yeah. We yeah. have people trying to come to the trust all the time. Um, yeah, we've, we've actually turned away a couple. They evaluate the claims and decide if they're a mm. good good addition to the trust mm -hmm. or not. And yeah, the, the Hampshire Insurance Trust, even though it's under the umbrella of the HCOG, really runs independently. Okay, and they have the best insurance plan in the state right now. Okay, so a uh, little, little different than the, than the COG itself. So, the, um, did it, did you get a copy of the proposed letter? Uh, yeah. That's, that's this. Yeah, it's just a form. It's, so just a, form. it's a pretty yeah. basic yeah. letter that just right. you know s announces the yeah. date that we plan on discussing this. So. Um, all right, so why don't we why don't we make this our next select board meeting? Has our town council looked at this yet? Uh, this is this hmm. is the this is the law. These are these are in yeah. This is the law That's itself. The law Still, does we, do we not want our town council to look at this and give us some recommendations? We can do that, but it, it's, it's a not going to change question. the law. It's whether or not the town wants to adopt. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see for me what's boarding in here in these under these sections of the law, which we don't have in front of us. So. It'd be interesting to see what. Read some of them if you got, that, yeah. got the whole lot. There's the two okay. sections Thank that you. we'd be looking to adopt. Yeah, great. And the, Thank the you. important parts are bracketed. Mm -hmm. Good. Don't give some of that yet. These are them. readable by ordinary people. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 <laughs> what we're doing is saying we'll accept these provisions in the law. That's all we're doing. Yeah. Okay. And have we never done this before? Well, there hasn't been a change like this before. Change. For most local acceptance of state laws, it's through town meeting, but through, for this section, uh, it's the select board. Uh -huh. All right, so we'll review this between now and next meeting, and then we'll uh, uh, and, and, and we'll, we'll take care of the notifications. Right. And we'll vote at the uh, at the next at the next meeting. In two weeks. Two weeks, one day. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that would be the Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday, Tuesday after yes. Memorial Day. Yeah. Memorial Day already. Okay. And the other item I have for you. Um, we have an executive session. Yeah, scheduled. we have an executive okay. session Good. on that one. So uh, you're going to make the motion. Well, we there's uh, a little bit of. We're, we're, we've got other things to do. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. So I'll just hang out. Just hang out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Any items not anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting? Time? I don't have any. Okay. We have your update time. Yes, I do. Uh, for committee news, I've been working with Julie Petty to streamline parks, recreations, and trails <coughs> operations. She's suggesting having the committee invite sports coordinators who are not necessarily part of the committee, keeping committee membership as oversight and allowing sports coordinators to work without the restrictions of committee membership, being counted for quorum, taking ethics tests, overseeing the programs they're running, etc. I'm checking with Stam on how other towns do this, but see no problem in using this template for now. Uh, I'm working with Tom McCarthy on the grant for self-evaluation and a transition plan for ADA compliance to complement the MOU with the state. Um, the state will want it as well, so we might as well get a jump on it, especially with the possibility of a planning grant. Uh, Tom knows of people who can do the evaluation and transition plan. As I mentioned before, it's a tight timeline. Application should be in by June 5th and the work completed by June 30th. I am planning to attend the Mass DOT Capital Plan meeting at the FERCOG offices next week and comment, if possible, 
I'm not sure there's going to be a comment period, but if there is, I would like to comment on the need in rural Massachusetts for additional resources as we have less money in absolute terms while still being likely to have a greater number of, say, bridges per capita than eastern towns and cities. Mm -hmm. So every new bridge is a need on par with a new highway garage in terms of borrowing, and we can afford only one such item every few years. Uh, your input on additional points and arguments would be most welcome, or of course you can attend the meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, for departmental news, um, something our treasurer, I think, um, is, well, is concerned about as well. Our 900 line item has just gone into the red. Which is that? That's employee benefits mm -hmm. due to health insurance and Medicaid costs. I've notified Jim Bosman that we'll need a finance committee meeting around the end of June to transfer between four and five thousand dollars from the reserve fund. For this item, other budget lines look good at this point, but there's no telling. Uh, we could also transfer money between accounts at the end of the year, uh, but the reserve fund has plenty of money and just needs finance committee approval rather than both finance committee and select board sign off, and the fund is already identified which makes it simpler. So we don't have to worry about which accounts to transfer from if it's just the Finance Committee. And this will be up to them? They'll decide? Yeah, well, they have to decide. They have to be in on the decision anyway. Yeah. Um, so they've already got money, and we don't have to worry about which account to transfer from. So it's simpler to do it that way. 80% um, of that increase in that line item comes from school employees. I remember uh, that you did <coughs> considerable work on that uh, mm -hmm. on that calculation earlier. <coughs> Tom, I need to verify those numbers too. When I got your email late in the day and I wasn't able to review it. Yeah. Um, it was my understanding that there was quite a bit left in um, in their retirement line. Oh, okay. I did check, try to check with Casey, uh, Stacy about that. Um, and uh, she did go back and forth a little bit on that. So uh, that would be I'll really useful if we did not have to, if we did not have to go through this exercise. Mm -hmm. There are a number of line items under 900, and we do know that two of them are going to go into the red, but uh, there may be additional, as Jan says, there may be f uh, funds in other of the line items that don't go over. Okay. Uh, in other news, the state has lifted the drought warnings mm -hmm. for the entire state. There is officially no more drought. And there's some language there from the state which says, nonetheless, public officials continue to urge the public to monitor indoor and outdoor water usage and adopt and practice water conservation measures. Yeah. Okay. And that is my update. That's great. Thank you, Tom. Concerns of the selectmen. Do we have any concerns? So I this is a little concerned. bit, maybe not really concerned, but I'll go back to uh, the item on the Tom's list here. Do we know where we stand with the uh, uh, work that's being not really done and investigated on that bridge in North Pole Road? Right now, we're trying to calculate how much it would cost to repair it rather than replace it. Once we get that figure, we'll be able to compare it to how much it would cost to replace it. Mm -hmm and either make a, an argument that with that kind of a difference we'd be better off just replacing it, or conceivably it could be repaired at a considerably less uh, onerous sum than uh, replacing it. Um, we, we don't have that figure for repair yet, but that's the tack that we're, Do you have a we're time taking on, on that? it now. Um, I don't. I will. I will uh, ask for an update on that. Okay, anything else? All right, mail. We got a, um, a note from our assessor that um, the board voted uh, to immediately release $20,000 from the overlay reserve to overlay surplus. Okay. Yeah, because of the vote? And we, and we knew that. And we knew that. But that is in the re that is in the mail file. Okay. No other announcements. Anybody have any announcements? No. Uh, we did get a thank you note from the uh, Tibetan 
group uh, for the uh, community preservation money mm -hmm. go to the town meeting. Good. Also for mail. Send in here, Tim. That's something that will be contracts or, or grants written up for that? For doing the roof. Right? That's all. That's all through um, CPA. CPA, yeah. Similar, right. Something similar to the church, probably, isn't it? Yeah, we have I'm sorry. Any, uh, something similar to the church or something like that. It'll be paperwork, I'm sure. Yeah, we get an email from them. The yeah, email. that's. Um, I'll check in with the CPA about that too. Okay, our next meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, May 30th at 6 o'clock here in the town offices. And um, with that, uh, I will uh, make a motion that we go into executive session from which we will adjourn our meeting uh, under reason six to consider the value of real property um, because an open meeting uh, may have a detrimental effect on our negotiating position here in town. Okay, uh, do we have a roll call? Executive session? Aye. Executive Aye. session, executive session, okay.